Okay, so we've already talked about degree measurement as a measurement for angles. So degrees could also be represented as degrees, minutes, and seconds. In fact, even still today, for navigation, we're still seeing things written in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So here is uh, some conversions. Basically what it's doing is taking the decimal part of the angle and it's turning it into minutes and seconds. So again, it's, you can see that often uh, with navigation. So here's some conversions that we have to know first how this works. 60 minutes, uh, the notation for it, they use one mark there. So 60 minutes is equal to one degree. 3600 seconds uh, is also equal to one degree. So you see that seconds we use the double mark that's there. And other things you might have to know, 60 seconds of course equals one minute. Uh, that's something else that comes up when we do these conversions. So this, these are the conversions that we need. So now let's take a look at a couple examples. Okay, for our first example, it says write 83 degrees, 24 minutes, 13 seconds in the correct notation. So what they mean by that is use the correct symbols, the one, one dash or two dashes for minutes and seconds. They want us to use that. Then once we're done with that, they want us to convert this over into decimal degrees and round to four places. So first let's go ahead and write out the notation like they're asking us to do. So we have 83 degrees, 24 minutes, and 13 seconds. Okay, that's the correct way to write that by using the notation degrees, minutes, seconds. It always goes in that order. Okay, so next, we want to convert this over into decimal degrees, and this is where we're going to use our unit conversions that we just talked about. Now, I'm going to separate this. I'm going to do 83 degrees plus 24 minutes plus 13 seconds. So first, I can just go ahead and separate that into these different parts. Now, each one of these, I'm going to use a unit conversion to convert both of these over back into, uh, back into degrees, so that way we're going to add all the degrees together to get our answer. So first, 83 degrees, it's already in degrees, we don't have to do anything with that. We're gonna do 24 minutes. Now we're gonna multiply this by that unit conversion we just talked about before we started this problem. We mentioned that 60 minutes is the same as one degree. So we wanna put the minutes down below so they cancel and you're gonna put the one degree on top. So now we have uh, this conversion. Next, we're going to take the 13 seconds and multiply it by its conversion. Now this one, the one degree is equal to 3600 seconds. Once again, we're going to cancel these out. That's what we have to put them, put that on the bottom. Now we put this all into our calculator this is gonna end up giving us three different degree measurements that we're gonna to add together. So 83 degrees plus we're gonna do 24 divided by 60. Minutes cancel, we'll get degrees left over. And so when we do that, we're gonna get 0.4 degrees. Then we're gonna do 13 divided by 3600. And this dust when we get 0.00361, and that's gonna be the one is repeating there, and that's gonna be degrees also. So we're just gonna round to four places, because that's what it tells us to do. So we're gonna do 83 plus 0.4 plus 0 0.0036, and if we add all that together, that gives us 83.4036 degrees. So that would be the equivalent uh, decimal degrees, and this is your traditional degrees, minutes, and seconds notation. Okay, our next one, we wanna convert 163.36 degrees to degree, minute, and second form. So now we're gonna go back uh, the other direction, going from the decimal degrees back into degrees, minutes, and seconds. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this from the whole number and the decimal part. So we're gonna do 163.36 degrees, and we're gonna first start by writing it like that. This part, I wanna change it over into minutes. Okay, so we're gonna do the conversion on this part. So we do 163 plus 0.36 degrees. Now we're gonna use our same 
U conversion, except this time we got to put the degree in the bottom. Okay, so one degree is equal to 60 minutes. That's the conversion we talked about before. And so now we're going to just multiply that together. And this is going to give us 163 degrees plus, uh, we have 60 times the 0.36, and that's going to give us 21.6 minutes. Okay, so now we have this. Now this minutes part, I want to convert that over into uh, that, that 0.6 part. I want to turn that into seconds. So that because we have to have whole numbers for degrees, minutes, and seconds for that. So we're going to now do 163 degrees plus 21 minutes plus 0.6 minutes. So we're going to separate it just like this. This last decimal part, we're going to turn that into seconds. So we're going to use the unit conversion for that. Uh, so this one's not going to use that degree to seconds one because we don't have a degree here, we have a minutes. So we're actually just going to use our regular conversion of one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we're going to put one minute down below there and we're going to put 60 seconds up here and then that's going to convert this part over into uh, seconds. So when we do that we get 163 degrees, we have 21 minutes, and then if we multiply the 60 times the 0.6, uh, then we get that last part, uh, which is going to be uh, 36. So we get 36 seconds for that one. And you don't want to leave your answer with the plus form, you want to go ahead and write it like this. So 163 degrees, 21 minutes, 36 seconds. So this would be the correct degree, minute, and second form to go for 163.36 degrees.